A horrible and tragic start to the school year for Warren's Fitzgerald High School. Today, classes are canceled once again after a student was stabbed right inside of a classroom. Stabbed to death. 16-year-old Denia Gibson died shortly after that attack from another classmate. Sean Lay joins us now live at the site of a vigil where the family, along with the community, are mourning and trying to comfort one another over this senseless loss. Good afternoon, Rhonda. You get the sense here being at the school and in the community that this tragedy hasn't even started to sink in here. We're talking about Dinana Gibson, the 16 year old murdered in front of her classmates, as you alluded to one o'clock here today, just about an hour, a vigil here at the high school on the football field. I've also been in touch with the girl's father today, and he says he has so many questions about what happened and why. I'm just devastated. I'm, I'm devastated. I'm hurt. I'm torn. I, I don't know what to do. The father of day nine, Gibson in tears and speaking out to local four. His 16 year old was brutally attacked in class Wednesday by one of her closest friends, a 17 year old who brought a steak knife to school. Gibson's daughter was ambushed in front of dozens of classmates. She's sitting down. She's sitting down at her desk doing her work. Police say the 17 year old was angry at Gibson over a boyfriend. She's in custody at this noon hour. Charges are pending. The stunned school closed today. Mental health support staff made available at the high school from 8 to 2 today for any student, parent or staff member. A vigil for Gibson will be held on the football field at 1 o'clock today. Janiel Dubiel, a Fitzgerald graduate who knew Day Nina, stopping by her school today where she sits. Staff was meeting about adding metal detectors to increase security here. So I think they're talking about whether or not they should do that and if it's something that needs to be done because I guess it, I guess a few years ago Fitz thought about it but it was never actually done. Meantime we're just now starting to see some students return to the school for that one o'clock vigil. We'll have it covered for you. In Warren, Sean Lake, Local 4.